Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the March for Life 2018 and to the Planned Parenthood protest at the March for Life of 2018. We're glad to have you with us. We have various leaders here uh, that we're going to hear from. Uh, Brian Kemper is here from our, our Youth Outreach and uh, Priest for Life team, as well as Father Stephen Imbarato. We have Reverend Pat Mahoney uh, here from, uh, from D.C. We have uh, Brian Gibson of the Pro-Life Action Ministries, and we have also other leaders. Janet Morana is here, uh, our executive director and the co-founder of Silent No More. We're going to hear from all these people, uh, but we want to start just by uh, a, a word of prayer and then a reminder to ourselves and to all those within the sound of our voice as to what brings us here, what motivates us to be here, what spirit we bring to this event and to all the events of the coming few days. Let's begin though by acknowledging the one who is Lord of human life, Jesus Christ. And this brings together Christians of all denominations. Uh, if we can acknowledge that he is Lord, well then nobody else is. Not a, not a mother or father, not a doctor or governor or king. Nobody is Lord over human life except the one whose name is Jesus Christ. So let's together begin and set ourselves in this mindset by singing He is Lord. He is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Let's sing it loudly. He is King. He is King. He is King. He is risen from the dead and He is King. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is King. He is life. He is life. He is life. He is risen from the dead and He is life. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is mine. Okay, well, we have uh, gratitude, first of all, to the, uh, to the local police who are always so uh, helpful and cooperative uh, to us and interested in protecting our First Amendment rights uh, as well as protecting everybody's safety no matter what side of these issues they may be on. And um, they've considered now that we have enough people to justify them closing the street. So that is a, <laughs> that is a good feeling that, okay, we're off to a good start here. Uh, closing the street, and then I think closing that place right there would be a good idea too. But that's going to be, require more than the local police. That's going to require some acts of Congress and some acts by a certain man in the White House, whom we want to thank today as well for his pro-life stand. We're going to hear from him tomorrow uh, as he addresses the, uh, the marchers. But brothers and sisters, as I was saying before, we welcome you. I'm Father Frank Pavone, Director of Priests for Life. You're going to hear from a number of our Priests for Life team and from other national leaders as well. We have been doing this protest in front of Planned Parenthood on the day before the March for Life for very many years. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, if, if Pat Mahoney is here, uh, 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 Pat, we've been with you for over all these years. Uh, you usually get us the, the permit and work all that out. But why don't you say an initial word, a little bit about the history. We were at a different location 
uh, in, in for most of these years. Now we're here, and Pat can fill you in if you're not familiar with some of this local history. Uh, Reverend Pat Mahoney. 